Hi, my name is Roy Watring from Hoosier Crane, and today we're going to show you how to do a chain inspection on a chain hoist. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we run it to the lower limit, we'll clean the chain, then we'll need to get into the chain and inspect the chain for any damage, I check the pockets for any wear, we'll go down through the chain checking the, the links to make sure that we don't have any wear on the links or on the in between the pockets. This is where the, they'll start showing wear. And again, you want to keep your chain lubricated. That prevents bare metal against bare metal. After we get done inspecting the chain, to prevent them from having premature wear, we will use a spray chain lube. In this case, it's a dry molly. What I'm doing is, I'm, I just don't want too much to be on there so it's not going to drip. I am spraying it and then I'm wiping off any of the real extra parts so that uh, we don't have too much lubrication on there. And then and with this type of loop it gets in where the pockets are on the chain and helps put a barrier between the, the two pieces of metal. And then I like to run it all the way up and run it back down that way. The lift wheel and your chain guides are going to get the extra lubrication transferred over to them. And that's pretty much how you do the inspection on your chain on a monthly basis and put lubrication. What we're trying to prevent is the uh, prevention of trying to keep your sprocket, the upper chain sprockets, from showing too much wear. In this case, this is an old sprocket. You can see where the pockets have been worn off. And again, you can see this was a very dry sprocket, so it allowed the chain to wear, knocking off the corners of the pockets allowing the chain to slip through the uh, sprocket as it was trying to lower. So just to summarize, why we are doing the inspections and the uh, lubing of the chains, it's to prevent the parts from wearing. Uh, to replace this sprocket, you have to totally disassemble the hoist. So to replace the sprocket and the upper uh, guides, it's an expensive process. So Anytime you can keep lube on the chain, it helps cut down on any of this excessive wear and saves money. 